Hi girls, this is Zephy from I am Zephy and I love to scrap. Um, firstly, I need to apologize for my filming conditions. I'm sitting on the floor in my lounge and I want to get this video done before my hubby takes this to my sister. It's going to South Africa tomorrow. So, um, let me begin. This is um, the second mixed media canvas I've made. Um, it is truly a mixed media canvas because it has acrylic paint on it, it has Lindy's Stamp Gang um, mists on it, it has 3D molding paste, it has lace, it has napkins that have been decoupaged onto it, it has tissue paper, it has stamped images, this here is embossed toilet paper, lace, die cuts, wire, photos. Okay. Um, where should I begin? Well, I first painted it and then I used 3D molding paste. For instance, this here is 3D molding paste. Can you see? And I just used the edge of my spatula to give it that little checkered effect. Um, in the corner here, I had also put 3D molding paste. I don't know how well you can see that. And I had just pressed the lace into it, so it's got a little bit of a lacy feeling. Um, this here is also molding paste and it goes on underneath here. Um, let's start from the bottom here. Lace, which has been colored with vintage photo distress inks. This here is embossed toilet paper that has been um, embossed, it has been dried and then it's been misted with Lindy Stamp Gang mists. I was actually afraid that I would lose the depth of the embossing when I misted it but um, I didn't which was quite fortunate. If you can see there's a bit of gold shining through there that's a candy wrapper. Uh, this stamped, all the stamped images have been stamped on um, tissue paper and have been decoupaged on. Okay. Uh, this is a die cut, as you all recognized. I've used Byzantine bronze embossing powder on that, and then I sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang and mist and um, heated it up again, so then you get that kitted, uh, pitted effect. That little flower is just something that I made myself using a mold and Fimo paste, as are those. And I've colored those up with um, um, H2O's, what they call the little shimmery, small little discs of um, shimmer, sparkling H2O's or something like that. Can't remember. I'll write it down when I when I edit this. Um, the tags are Seven Gypsies tags that have been distressed and torn and I think I had rolled them up into my fist a complete little bundle like this and then I opened them up again and just inked them and as as I put them on I just kept adding color to it there's for anything from gesso to ink to um, Lindy Stamp Gang onto those I, I tore them quite a bit as well I tore them a bit because they were a bit big what else can I tell you? Oh yes, can you see this damask kind of feel? Uh, I'm sitting on the floor, so forgive me. Can you see here? That there, that, that. That was an embossed napkin that my sister had used at her wedding and I thought they were beautiful. They were just plain white napkins and I carefully, carefully decoupaged some of that onto here. Because when you decoupage with napkin, if, if you um, press it too hard with your brush, then you lose the texture. So I was very happy with that. You can see this here is a little bit of lace. Can you see? Uh, there's some more lace at the back there. Okay. You recognize the stamps are Tim Holtz stamps. Uh, this is a Sizzix die cut. Can you see what it is? If you look carefully, let me turn it this way, you'll see that it 
they're the little holes that, and then there's a post. It's a little shop sign post from Sizzix that's also been embossed and misted. Okay. Oh, and then this. I need to thank Aliki for these. Aliki had this beautiful stamp set with numbers. I really loved it. She had used it on a journal. It's really so cool. She got it from France. And when she was visiting me a while back, I had just stamped a whole lot of these numbers on plain white acrylic paper and on cardstock, on craft paper. So um, this was originally on white aquarel paper. I think I said acrylic paper a while back. It's aquarel paper. So it's water painting paper in other words. So um, I just took it and um, glued it onto cereal. Two, no, yes, two pieces of cereal box. And I used Claudia Helmut's um, multimedium on it. And as you can see, I have inked it up with Distress inks and with uh, Lindy Stamp Gang. So, and then on the sides I added um, some more Distress inks. So I'm really happy with the way that looks. They look like little tiles, like domino tiles. Really happy with that. Um, the photo, there's quite a long story about the photo. The photo, this boat, we are in the water but it's cl quite close to shore and there was a whole lot of litter on the back of this photo that was lying on the shore so that's why I cut it out. That's her birthday. This little spiral metal thingy is something that my sisters and my daughters had used on my birthday cake when I turned 50. And they had that on my birthday cake and on my gifts. So, of course, I hoarded that, and I thought it was quite a nice touch to add that to her collage. Anyway, um, that's that. Um, I think that's about all. Uh, this fibre here is actually just the edges of some canvas that I just frayed off here. And um, I wanted something to be organic. I wanted it to look like fishing nets. Or seaweed so I hope that looks nice and that's like a little feather that I thought was nice too I hope it's not too busy and I hope she likes it and that she will put it up in a house and not just hide it in a cupboard so Val if you see this video I wish you a happy birthday and I hope you like it um, for the girls in Greece I will do, be doing workshops for altered canvases uh, in the course of the next couple of months. So if you're interested, just send me a mail and then I'll give you more details. Uh, keep well and be creative. Bye.